back for round two. This is inbox or email organization. Uh, or lack thereof. Or lack thereof. <laughs> <laughs> That would be that would certainly be my case. I mean, I'm here to learn. And I, actually, I, I highly recommend going and talking with a company called uh, Clear Context. Clear Context. And who builds a system for email? I can't use it actually because of my email organization. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I find there's different kinds of people on email. You know, there's mm -hmm. the Gmail users and the Hotmail users and Outlook users. Right? And AOL users. Well, <laughs> Hotmail and AOL and all these okay, right. are pretty similar yep. in how they how they deal with it. Mm -hmm. And then even in Outlook, you find people who are uh, pilers, right? Mm -hmm. Who have 50,000 things in one one big yeah. inbox. Yeah. And they just go through, you know, and un unread or, mm -hmm. or start highlighting things. Or filers, right? right. You start putting everything in folders. Right? <laughs> and, and I became a filer because Outlook didn't have good search for a long time. No I've been way. using Outlook for a long time, yeah. right? Um, since before uh, 1990. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. well, and you use Google Desktop Search and Outlook as well? Uh, I have a Google account that comes in Outlook and a oh. Hotmail account that comes in Outlook. Got it. And actually, uh, part one is dealing with spam. So right. like here, in just the last uh, 30 minutes since we've been talking, uh, you know, 10 emails came in, 80 emails came in, and only one actually has any content in it. <laughs> and so one thing I do is instead of deleting the spam, mm -hmm. I move the good stuff over to another <laughs> folder, <laughs> and that's how I dealt, how I learned to deal with spam, right? So I, I just got a note from my brother, and I moved it over, right? Okay, and got then it. I, and then I can if so you don't delete the spam, you just remove the good stuff and put it in a new folder. Yeah, and if it's something that looks like it might be useful, I can just check it out, and, mm -hmm. and then once I get all the good stuff out of it, I delete it. Got right? it. And I keep it. I keep my inboxes all clean. So that's. This is my real inbox, and down how here is my Hotmail inbox, right? How many folders do you have in your inbox? Uh, it looks like about 25. 25. And that actually is down a little bit. Okay. I, I started I started paring back because I started realizing this isn't uh, a good system for me to deal with. Mm -hmm. But then I have an inbox where there's good stuff, and this is where my where I fall apart, because right? mm -hmm. uh, if you follow like David Allen or, mm -hmm. or anybody, you're only supposed to look at an email once, and right. then you're supposed to deal with it. Right. And of course I'm not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I look at things and go, oh, I don't need to deal with that right now, right. or or it's too involved to deal with, so I leave it for later mm -hmm. and that, that stuff. But generally, I, uh, what I try to do then is. Um, is either delete it if it's something I don't need to keep around or mm -hmm. I don't like this doesn't need a answer, I delete it mm -hmm. uh, and get it out. go go away. Purge. I, right. I don't need to save it. I don't need to email it. I don't need to store it for later. No and action. I'm required. not one that e stores all my email. Mm -hmm. That all my you know, I don't need that sitting around on my hard drive mm -hmm. cluttering up my life. I if I save something, it's with a very specific purpose. Right. So Especially with something like Gmail, where you can just you can delete it off your local machine and check it online anyway. Yeah. So here's a you know personal thing. I should just I would just answer that usually. Mm -hmm. Here's a business thing, and um, uh, I would just answer that. Uh, here's something that I need to plan. I would go out over to my blog and plan that. Mm -hmm. Here's a a thing for my blog. So I would store that in my blog stuff folder. So let, let me just go through my folders here. Mm -hmm. there, there's really only a couple folders that that get used a lot. Right. And I, actually, I, I need to reorder these because uh, they should really be at the top, you know. Mm -hmm. And everything else is like resources that I might right. need someday. So right? renaming them so they're at the top of the, yeah, the list. Yeah. Uh, right now, my my organization is not optimal. So <laughs> <laughs> what are your most frequently used folders? Well, the main inbox, so where things come in. That's like the workspace for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's where uh, I'm working. Um, blog stuff, mm -hmm. which is stuff that, uh, for my blog at mm -hmm. some point, that or something that might turn into a blog story. My done folder, which mm -hmm. means I'm, I've dealt with it, and it's different than deleted. Deleted right. means I don't need it anymore. But right. done means so something happened here, like, like if you email me a business contract and we got a we came to a, an agreement and mm -hmm. that became done I would drag that into my done folder so I could s search on it later on if you said hey my contract isn't right, know, isn't that's correct or something like that mm -hmm. um, 
and i just keep it in one folder now i used to start separate separ